Hi, I'm Ali, and we're at the GKE booth looking at how to fine tune and deploy large language models on GKE. For this example, we're going to look at two particular models. This is going to be a Gemma base model or the pre trained model, which is not instruction tuned, as well as a Dolly fine tuned model that is tuned for instruction, which means it, you can have chat conversations with it. So the reference architecture for this demo looks something like this. The user can start from a browser, and that hits a uh, LangServe, LangChain application that's running in Cloud Run. Um, that is connected uh, on its back end to uh, internal load balancers, which are uh, services of type load balancer deployed in Kubernetes, which are fronting these back ends, which are deployments running inside GKE. On the right hand side, we have a base Gemma 7 billion large language model. So this is the pre-trained version, uh, which is not tuned for uh, conversation, it's tuned for text completion. So it's intended to give it the start of a sentence and it's going to complete the rest of it and the rest of the paragraph as uh, set by the parameters of the deployment. Whereas the fine-tuned Gemma 7 billion model, uh, in this particular case, was the same 7 billion model but fine-tuned using the uh, Dolly dataset from Databricks, which is a 15K line dataset. So at a very high level, the way to fine-tune the uh, LLM would be uh, something like this, where um, you know you you uh, take the the base model from a GCS bucket, you pull that down into the the virtual machine that has the GPUs that does the actual fine tuning, and once the fine tuning job is completed, the finished checkpoints go back into GCS for later retrieval by the deployments. An example command that would run this fine tuning would be uh, kube control apply dash f fine tune job yaml, and you'll find the source for this in the attached link, uh, which you can find in the deck in the description below. Similarly, uh, the deployment for the LLMs is fairly simple as well. So kube control apply dash F, uh, 7 billion uh, using TGI. So this is hugging face text generation inference model server. And these are the two variants of the model. And then you also have cloud run deploy commands for the front end application that gets deployed that the user will interact with, along with a policy that allows anyone to access it. So let's go back really quickly to the architecture. What we're going to do now is open up two windows. One is going to be a window that is going to let us chat to this one, and one window will let us chat to this one right here. So here I move across the camera. OK, so again, up top here, we have a Gemma playground. Uh, and then down here, we have the Dolly playground. So let's, let's go ahead and ask a question like, um, what is the role of Neo in the movie, The Matrix? And I would expect a pretty well-structured response from the fine-tuned model um, explaining the, the, the role of the protagonist in the movie, The Matrix. Now, this is the fine-tuned model, this is fine-tuned for a conversation. Now, similarly, if I was to have a conversation uh, here, um, I, I would have to change my prompt just a little bit because since this model is the pre-trained model, it's made for text completion. So I would say something like, the role of Neo in the movie The Matrix is... This is a lot, uh, you know, it, it goes to show that um, you can still get good responses out of pre-trained models without fine-tuning with a little bit of prompt adjustment. Just goes to show um, that even pre-trained models are useful, and then you can make fine-tuned models very specific to the kind of use cases that you want to use them for. Uh, last but not least, you can scan the QR code here below that will take you the code repository for this particular demo. Please run it, give us feedback, we'd love to hear from you.